what is anthropology and how is the UCL anthropology degree unique? Uh, we're just going to uh, ask everyone to, to contribute an answer to that. Uh, Martin, do you want to start? Thanks for posing what sometimes is quite a hard question to, to answer uh, because um, anthropology, particularly the way that we do it at UCL, um, what distinguishes us from other departments of anthropology in the UK or many departments uh, in the UK is that we adopt uh, a very broad approach in the way that we do anthropology at UCL. Uh, and that means that it's actually quite hard to define because any aspect of the experience of being human is a legitimate object of study for an anthropologist. What is it to be human is a central question for anthropologists. But you might argue that the same goes for a lot of other disciplines that deal with human beings. So what is distinctive about anthropology is, is a big question. And my answer to that question would be that it's not so much the specific topic that distinguishes anthropology, but rather the approach to the topic, right? And what distinguishes anthropologists is they try to understand and answer questions about what it is to be human by engaging with human beings themselves and finding out what they think about it. So uh, unlike, say, a sociologist or uh, another, an economist or another social scientist, who may look at human beings from above and try and decide how to explain their behavior according to certain kind of theoretical approaches that they've developed in their, in their own disciplines. Anthropologists go to the people themselves and they ask them the questions that they want to answer. And the way they answer those questions feeds into anthropologists' approach to answering themselves, right? So this kind of interactive uh, and empathetic approach to answering very big questions about the human experience is what uh, distinguishes anthropologists' approach to it. And the one thing that I would add is that in UCL, this kind of trying to see the question from the point of view of the people that we're studying kind of approach that I just described is coupled up with a broader understanding of the experience of human beings as an evolved species, because we also do biological anthropology as well as social and cultural anthropology uh, in our department. So uh, all our attempts to kind of empathetically engage with human beings are calibrated and brought into relation with this broader understanding of uh, what makes human beings human from a point of view of their species-wide characteristics. So that's my best attempt to answer it. Uh, just to say about uh, what makes us distinctive at UCL, I already mentioned this broad-based approach, as we call it. That is reflected in the structure of the department and the structure of the degree that we have. Um, which is organized according to uh, five different sections within the department, uh, which cover different aspects of this kind of broad field that we call anthropology. Uh, one is social anthropology, the one to which I belong, which looks very broadly at kind of socio-cultural phenomena, uh, adopting the kind of approach that I described. Uh, the other one is medical anthropology, which is very akin to social anthropology, but homes in specifically on questions of well-being and health and very often links up with biological anthropology, um, which is a third section in the department in which we look at questions of evolution, questions of human ecology, how human beings interact with their environment, their livelihoods with other, other species that they share um, um, environments with and so on. A fourth section of the department is material and visual culture that Haiti belongs to. Um, who, again, are very akin in many ways to what social and cultural anthropologists do, but they home in specifically on the ways in which material uh, objects, architecture, mobile phones, technology, and so on, are constitutive of uh, social and cultural experiences, and adopt a very kind of interdisciplinary approach to that, very often hooking up with archaeologists, with art historians, uh, and so on. Uh, Haley already mentioned ethnographic museums and kind of the, the, the use of in this kind of research. And finally, we have a fifth section to which Alex belongs, which is our public anthropology section, which is actually our most outward looking section and is our way of kind of allowing anthropology to engage with a whole array of professional practices, many of them creative practices, um, including filmmaking. So collaborations between anthropologists and filmmakers, but also other kind of creative enterprises that uh, we're really interested in, in, in developing, including with the theater and so on. So I think that kind of breadth of uh, approach is what most distinguishes uh, UCL anthropology. And if you come and do a degree with us, you'll be able to navigate your anthropological training and kind of weave all of those things together in the way that you pursue your degree. 
that's it from me. Thank you, Martin. Um, anyone wants to go next? I'll jump in next, just building on what Martin said. Um, I just think that there, if, if you might be coming from a place where you haven't heard much about anthropology at school, and we know that there isn't an anthropology A level, and there are places that I like to think about in, when answering that big question about what anthropology is. And one is this kind of aphorism that anthropology makes the strange familiar and the familiar strange. So uh, I think a core part of our method is to whatever our subject is, try to both immerse ourselves within that, understand it from within, but also to step outside of it and, and imagine what it might look like to somebody who had no prior knowledge or experience of that area of social life. And that interface of both being immersively involved and participating within what you're studying, but also trying to step back and develop kind of an objectivity towards that is a real hallmark of what we do. And then the other thing that I think really makes anthropology so exciting within the university is this um, fact that we are a, nat a natural science, a social science and a humanities subject. And so we really give you that chance to, to situate yourself across all of the skill sets and ways of thinking and methods that emerge from those different parts of academia and, and the university and bring them together to attack these really big questions. What does it mean to be human? Uh, how do, do all humans have art? And you can answer questions like that from an evolutionary or a biological perspective. You can answer them from a cultural, humanities-based perspective, and you can answer them from a sociological or social science perspective as well. And what anthropology does so well is to bring all of those together into one place. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, Laura? Yeah, I, I just want to emphasize that anthropology, especially at UCL, I can only speak for UCL really because that's where I've been studying, but um, it's really a transformative process and it's a really great way um, to go to introspect really what you are because when you're answering what is a human being, you're really answering what am I? And so it's a really great way to, to look in the mirror and to um, understand more about yourself and your behavior um, and how you interact with other people and to improve that the ways with which you interact with other people so it really gives you great communication skills um, and a better understanding of you know how to empathize with other people and uh, and how to listen to them and be a better a better person overall when you come out of that degree and that's that's really something that I I was told about before starting anthropology but that I really experienced and learned um, throughout the past four years, and it's something that I will cherish um, in my career and in my personal life going forward. Yeah, just to jump in there, like I think, um, I think this the, the the kind of points that Martin and Heidi bring up around answering the kind of the big questions. This is something that anthropology really does, and no one really knows whether it's true whether someone said this or not. But someone is supposed to have said that anthropology is uh, philosophy with the people in it. Um, I, anthropologists, as Martin was saying, go to speak to people to try and find out the answers to these questions. Of course, that's anthropology in the round, in the main. But what is specific about UCL anthropology is, as Martin already mentioned, we have these five sections across the board that really propose a different way for those questions to be put forward. So with Haiti's section, material, visual and digital culture, with my section, public anthropology, I think that particularly in these two sections, but across all five sections, actually, there is this emphasis on really trying to create a university which is slightly more porous, a university which seeks to kind of escape from the ivory tower, you know, as it were, and tries to reach out into kind of sectors of industry or to other interlocutors, into the arts, to try and ask these big questions, but perhaps to ask them in ways that haven't been asked previously. And I think that that is something quite unique about UCL anthropology. Um, and something which kind of in, in many ways actually uh, really uh, works to kind of fulfill the potential of asking those big questions that is obviously one of the original missions of the discipline. I agree with that as well. And uh, the way that the interdisciplinary aspect of the course specifically at UCL, um, I think that's super important. And that's what helped sort of help me make that my decision to choose the UCL. Um, Especially when, yeah, you don't necessarily know so much about the subject in itself or what specifically interests you necessarily. Um, 
having that interdisciplinary aspect can really uh, give you an important foundation for understanding, um, you know, yeah, the huge diversity of the subject and then eventually to help you hone your own specific um, research interests as your degree goes along. So that's been really important. And again, yeah, as has been mentioned, like it sort of uh, changes the way you look at your own environment and your own um, life and your own surroundings and all these different um, sort of areas give you opportunities to sort of question what you yourself have become used to. Um, yeah, as Heidi said, sort of making the familiar strange. Thank you, everyone, for, for your answers. 